So hello and welcome everyone. In this video tutorial we will discuss how we can convert a PDF file into a Word document using Python. So we will start this tutorial by discussing how we can convert the PDF file into a Word document and for this task we will use one module in Python and by using that module we will cover two different methods through which we can easily convert a PDF file into Word. So without any further delay let's jump to the very first topic and discuss how we can convert a PDF file into Word document. So in Python we can easily convert a PDF file to Word document by using the PDF to Docs module. Now by using this module there are two ways to convert a PDF file into a Word document. But as this PDF to Doc module is a third party module we need to first install it in our system. And how we can install it? For this we will use a simple pip command. Let me show you this command. And here on the screen you can see this pip command pip install and then the name of the module which is pdf to docs. So here I am executing this command in my Jupyter notebook. You can also execute this command in your command prompt or either in your terminal. So I will execute this cell and this will install this module in my system. So here you can see this cell gets executed successfully and I have successfully installed this pdf to docs module. Now once we install this module we need to follow some additional steps where we need to change some code. Now how we will do this? So first we need to move to the location where this package has been installed. So if we scroll down and if we look here it has given the path of this pdf to docs module and the path of this module is this under c drive there is a directory named users and then this is my username which is python guides then under app data there is one more directory roaming and under that we have this directory python and under this we have this directory python 310 so basically i am using python version 3.10 or we can say 3.10 that's why i have this directory name and then under this we need to move to this side packages directory so i will copy this path and in the file explorer i will paste this path and hit enter now i am under this side packages directory now within this directory first i have to locate this module directory which is pdf to docs so here you can see this is the directory which i am looking for so i will double click it to open it and under this we need to move to this directory which is page so i will again double click on it and open it now from here we need to open this file which is raw page now this is a python file so i will open this file in my visual studio code now what i have to do in this file i have to move to the line number 279 so I will scroll down and here in the Visual Studio code you can see the line number. So according to this I have to move to line number 279. So on line number 279 we have this code which is element.set underscore rotation underscore matrix and within this we have certain argument which is self.fits underscore page and then this rotation matrix. Now I have to slightly change this name so I will change it from rotation matrix to rotation underscore matrix and the m should be in lower case now i have to save this file and with this we are ready to use this module to convert a pdf file into word document with this we are ready to use this pdf to docs module and we can either utilize the converter class or we can use the parse function so there are two ways through which we can convert a pdf file into a word document first method is by using the converter class so let's discuss one example related to it and here on the screen you can see the example so what this converter class will do it will utilize some binding to read a specified pdf file and fetch data from it including the specified text and then it will create a new word document by utilizing the pydocs library so let's discuss one basic example related to it here in this example first we imported the converter class from this module so that's why we specified this statement from pdf to docs import converter then we specified two variables now both of these variables contain string type data so we are using these two variables to specify 
the path and the name of the file so very first variable is this pdf underscore file which have the name of the pdf file that we want to convert so the name of the pdf file is muscles.pdf and here you can see i didn't specify the full path because this muscles.pdf is in the same directory so if i show you my current working directory currently i am within this directory convert pdf to docs which is on my desktop and within this directory i have this notebook file and after notebook file i also have this muscles.pdf file so that's why i didn't specify the full path if you want to utilize a pdf file which is located at some other location then in that case you need to specify the full path after this i specified the name of the document file so when i will execute this code this file will be created so the name of this file is same only muscles.doc now here also if you want to generate the word document at some other location you can specify the full path i want to generate it in the current working directory that's why i have specified the name only now after specifying these variables i have specified the try accept block and within the try block what i am doing i am creating an object of this converter class and i have passed this pdf underscore file variable as an argument to this converter class so by this step we have created this object which is cv underscore object now what we will do we will use the convert function with this object so in the next line you can see we specified the object then we use the dot operator and after that we utilize this convert function and within the convert function we pass the document file variable as an argument so basically in this convert function we have to specify the path and the file name that we want to create so that's why i have specified this variable docs underscore file and in the last we i use the close method to close this document now then i have simply use one print function to specify uh, some sort of failure if this try block doesn't execute successfully and if this try block gets executed successfully then this else part will also be executed and within this we have printed this string file converted successfully so whenever the try block gets executed we will get this statement as a result that is file converted successfully now let me execute this cell and here you can see some process so the process started by opening the document then it was analyzing the document then parsing the pages and then creating the pages and in the last the process gets terminated within 0.50 seconds and we got this result file converted successfully this means our pdf file is converted into a document file and new document file has been generated so if i move back to my current working directory here you can see one muscles.docs file has been created now to open this document i need to use microsoft word so i will move back to my explorer window so what i will do i, I will open this directory in my windows explorer and here you can see this muscles.doc file so i will double click it to open it and here you can see it has created this word document now this word document is the exact copy of the pdf file so if i show you the pdf file as well here you can see uh, this pdf file contains only one page in which there were two paragraphs one title one heading and one image and if i open the word document again you can see there is one title two paragraphs one heading and one image now other than this there is one more method by which we can convert a pdf file into a word document and for that we need to use the same pdf to docs module and within this module we have this function which is named as parse now the role of this function is same as the convert function which we used in the above example so let us discuss how we can use this parse function with the help of an example so first we imported this parse function from this module then we define the file name and the path for both pdf as well as word document and here you can see this time i have specified the name of the document as new underscore muscles now within the try block i am i am using this parse function now very first argument in this parse function is the name of the pdf file that we want to convert so that's why i have specified pdf underscore file and the next argument is the name and the path for the word document so that's why i have specified this docs underscore file now this parse function also accepts two more 
arguments which is start and end now the role of this start parameter is to specify the page number from which we want to convert the pdf and the end parameter is utilized to specify the ending page till where we want to convert our pdf file so for example if we have a pdf file which contains 10 pages and i want to convert only first five pages so in that case i will specify start as one and end as five so in that case it will convert first five pages but for the current instance we will not use these parameters i will simply convert my existing muscles.pdf file into new underscore muscles document file so let me execute this code block and here you can see it has returned this result which is file converted successfully and here in my current working directory you can see this new underscore muscles document has been generated so i have opened my current working directory in the windows explorer so here is my file so i will simply open it using microsoft document and here you can see it has generated this word document so with this we have come to the end of this tutorial session if you really like this tutorial please press the like button and do subscribe to our youtube channel for more tutorials like this thank you